Okay, we're just gonna do a quick guide slash overview of how to get the less is more achievements. Uh, the achievement is to run through the game with no more than six weapons uh, at any time. So if you end up buying a seventh weapon, you will fail it. Um, shields in this game, it's there's no documentation anywhere, but shields in this game count as weapons. As soon as you buy a shield and you go over your six weapons, you will fail. And you don't find out until you finish your run. So just be mindful when you're shopping. Avoid shields and you don't want to go over your six weapons. Um, so we're going to do this with the Raven. Uh, and we're going to use the Assassin aspect. It's uh, Really, you're using it for the range and attack speed. And the weapon we're going to use is the Ebony Dagger. Starting weapon doesn't really matter. The Bandolier is actually uh, pretty good. Difficulty, I would stick to wherever you're comfortable. Um, I actually just recorded a run of me doing it on Calamity 5 here, so it is now proven to be overqualified for pretty much everything. Uh, and I'm just going to go over a couple items that are pretty useful that I think are um, eh, not mandatory, but very, very good for the run. All right, item number one is the Ebony Dagger. This is gonna be the main weapon used for this. You can actually stack six of these, which is what I do. It's got a uh, pretty poor range, great attack speed, great damage, and an amazing passive that increases the damage pretty much the longer the game goes on. So this is the only weapon I've been able to do this with. I'm sure it's doable with others. Highly recommend doing it with six Ebony Daggers. Um, one thing later on in the runs, you may run into higher quality ones being sold at the shop and it's a little daunting to sell uh, a dagger that has a couple hundred kills on it because you are losing a couple dozen damage there. Um, but the higher quality versions of it have a faster attack speed and you will pretty much be one hitting things towards the end of the game anyways, so that higher attack speed will in turn give you a higher dps and on top of that you just rescale the new ones with more kills so highly recommend six ebony daggers item number two that pretty much relieves the only downside of daggers is their crappy range um the mini lantern it's pretty much a win-win because it gives us range and increases enemy count which is considered by some to be a negative but more enemies on the map means more enemies we're killing which means more kills towards the passive of the ebony dagger um just one of these make daggers really great highly recommend two of them it's almost like a full screen clear they're they're great highly recommend having two of these on a run um and once you get the 20 range of this, you can safely spawn elites for more XP. Um, one item that I highly recommend to do that with is the Dust of Enlarging. Uh, because we are stacking a high quantity of small items, every Dust of Enlarging is pretty much a free item slot. Um, the downside is two elites. Once you have one or two of the mini lanterns though, the elites aren't an issue because you can kill them without having to get near them. Highly recommend you buy these whenever they show up in the store. Which leads to item number four, Dragon Blood Elixir. Same concept, not as great as the Dust of Enlarging. It spawns an elite in turn, uh you get permanently increased stats. Uh, really good, really good, because elites really aren't a problem once you have the mini lanterns. Um, a couple things I think new players overlook is XP gains and crates. So, Scroll of Mastery, really good. Um, Resources gain means you get less gold. Really, gold is a non-issue in this game. I never really have an issue. Um, XP gain means you are leveling up faster. The faster you level up, the more inventory slots you get. 
it's very good to have i i would say like three or four of these um and then on the other side of that is the crate collar more barrels i think a lot of beginner players will say oh more barrels means you get more money eh yes and no um inside the barrels you can get just free level ups which will give you another inventory slot you get food which if you're stuck in a really crappy spot it can top you off and the real reason we want barrels is uh invincibility you have like three or four of these crate collars in your inventory and you can pretty much have permanent invincibility on a floor if you get lucky if you get a uh, an early invincibility and you just spend the whole floor chasing down barrels during your invincibility you can chain them up to like 40 seconds uh really really great especially when we have elites or the last level when we're on the boss uh once you're invincible you can just jump on top of those harder to kill monsters and just remove them from the floor immediately um other than that there's really no required items I, I really think with the ebony dagger and the mini lantern everything is up in the air um choice of defense is up to you whether you want regen or lifesteal highly recommend lifesteal though because of how fast we are attacking um i generally use the uh, hand glass the black wing and then slowly replace my hand glasses with life stealing gloves. I think the run I just did this on Calamity 5, I had about 45% life steal. Um, it's great, it's great because you're attacking so fast you can top yourself up from zero really quick. <clears throat> Other than that, I that's it. Uh, play smart, 